uproot demonic power. You can uproot the throne of darkness and replace it with a new system. See, the problem that we've had, and especially we see this in Canada, is we're so good at praying, we're so good at dealing with the strong man, that if we do have enough prayer that pulls down the strong man, then we celebrate that we prayed. The problem is, now a throne has been displaced, we need to now go in and replace it with a new system, a new mandate, a presence. But we sit down in our churches and celebrate that we prayed, and guess what happens with the strong man? The strong man returns seven times, and the next generation is worse than the previous generation, because we have prayed about it, but we haven't gone in tangibly in our tangible bodies strategically and began a process of occupation. And Ellen is right. Anything you see today began years ago and is being enforced by a system. Therefore, a nation goes on a track of momentum that is very difficult to turn around. And so we gather and pray, and we say, okay, we've prayed. Why didn't it turn around yet? I'm sorry, but you have years of a momentum going there. Now we've got a lot to deal with in prayer and even more to deal with strategically. Anything less than changing the systems, getting involved in the systems, occupying territory, we remain in a place of prayer, which is good. We remain in a place of the prophetic. Prophetic is also good. And we remain in a place of evangelism.